What's going on guys? John Lauder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to template out our e-commerce website for Django and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to template out our website. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. It's all my courses, videos, and books for one-time fee, which is insanely cheap. All right, in the last video, we added the ability to add this little sale badge and sale pricing to our products. In this video, I wanna work on templating out our entire website. So before we get too far advanced and start adding other pages, we need to sort of split apart our template here into different sections that we can automatically apply to any new pages that we create on the website. So for instance, every page we have is gonna have this nav bar at the top, right? Every page we have is gonna have this footer thing at the bottom. So we need to sort of break our template apart into separate pieces with each of those things and then programmatically add those to all our new pages so we don't have to create 50 nav bars. We create one nav bar and just apply it to every page. So we do that with something called a base.html file. We'll set that up in this video and a few other things. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Django e-commerce series. So check that out if you haven't so far. First thing we're gonna do is come up here to our templates directory, right click and let's create a new file and control S or file save as, and let's call this base.html. And then while we're at it, let's go ahead and create another one. So let's right click and new file again, control S to save it. And I'm gonna call this one navbar.html. So the navbar file will have just our navbar, the base file will have all the other things that every page of our website will have. So let's start with the navbar. So let's come over to our home page, and let me hit project refresh folders. Okay, and those things pop up there. So let's go to our home page and let's find our navbar code. Now, luckily, it's nice and uh, tagged here, so we can see navigation right here. So let's just sort of highlight all of this. I'm holding down my shift key and the down arrow button. And let's see, let's kind of eyeball this. And you see this ending nav right there? That's what we want. So control C to copy this or right click and click copy. And let's come over to our navbar.html file and control V to paste, or you can right click and click paste here. So, okay, that's all of our navbar code. So go ahead and save this file, control S to save it or come up here and file save. And we can go ahead and close this. So now let's come back to our homepage and I'm just gonna delete all of that code right where that stuff used to be. So right here below the body tag, let's create a new Django tag and this is the include tag. So we just wanna include navbar.html. So Django knows to look in our templates directory for this file, it just knows that already. So if we go ahead and save this, now our navbar has been taken away from the home page. You'd think it wouldn't show up, but we've added it back in with this little tag here. So we can head back over to our website and click reload and absolutely nothing has happened. The nav bar is still up here. So, okay, that's pretty cool. So now we need to start to build out the base.html file. Anytime you use a base.html file is come up to the top of whatever page you're gonna be using it on and create a Django tag. And this is extends and then base.html. And again, Django knows to look in our templates directory for this base.html file. And basically we're saying, hey, extend this file into the base.html file. So now we need to build out the base.html file. What needs to go in this file? Well, obviously the stuff at the header of the site and the footer of the site and also the navbar code. Uh, we've, separated, we've separated the navbar code into another file, but that includes statement from the home page. That probably should go into the base.html file and stuff like that. So we want this load static tag. We want all of this beginning HTML stuff. This is like the site title and uh, links to the CSS file, all that good stuff. And then what else? Actually, it might be better just to copy everything. So I'm gonna hit control A to copy everything on this page, right? See everything, control C to copy this, and let's just paste it all in our base.html file. So right click and paste. And then let's come up here and get rid of the stuff we don't need. So the first off, we don't need that extends base file. So we'll get rid of that. So we definitely wanna keep all this HTML stuff, like I said. We also wanna keep the reference to the nav bar, obviously. But this header stuff, we probably don't. This right here, this only will occur 
on our homepage. Most of our other pages probably won't have that header. And that header is this shop and style thing, this little gray box thing. We may want that on some pages, we may not, but for most pages, we probably don't want that. So we'll take that out of the base file. Next is, you can see here, this section section, right? And this is all of our products, which are all of these things, right? We definitely don't want that in the base file because that's not gonna show up on most pages of the website. It's just gonna be on our homepage. So we can sort of get rid of all of that. And then let's see, uh, there we go. And then that ends in this section closing tag. So if we get rid of all of that, what we have left is uh, the footer stuff, right? And that is this thing down here, this copyright and this gray box, boxy thing down at the bottom. So we definitely want that on every page of our website. So we'll keep that there. So inside of here, we need a couple of tags. So this is gonna be block content. We need another one that says end block. So basically what's going on here is this is our template. This is the header of the page, the title and all that stuff. This is the footer of the page. And these two things are gonna be on every page of our website, right? What's gonna be different on each page of the website is the stuff between these two tags. You know, for instance, it's gonna pull in whatever is on the home page, right? And it will put it there. If it's the about page, it's gonna pull in all the text from the about.html file, which we'll create in just a second. Versus if it was the home page, it would be the home.html file. It's gonna grab whatever's in there and sort of suck it in and put it between these two tags. So, all right, go ahead and save this. This looks good. We're pretty much done now with our base.html file. So now let's head back over to our home page. And we also need to add those two block content tags on our home page somewhere. So first, we know we need to get rid of this stuff because we've put it all on the base.html file. We definitely want to keep this header because that's not on our base file. And then we also want to keep this section that has all of our products because that's also not on the base.html file but we do need to get rid of all this footer stuff because it is in the base.html file. So what we need to do now is take all of the content that's on this homepage, which is just all of this stuff, and wrap it in that very same block content tag. And then down at the bottom, we need to, again, same thing, end our block. All right, so let's go ahead and save this. Now let's head back over here and hit reload. Hopefully if we did this right, nothing changes. We've chopped our website into different templates now with the base.html and the navbar file, but it all comes together in this same page. So, okay, that seems to work, right? But let's make sure it works. Let's create a new about page very quickly and see if this works. So let's head over to our templates directory, right click and new file, control S to save this and let's save this as about.html and come back to the home page if we want. And we can copy this thing here because this is now gonna go basically on every page we create. And we also need this end block tag, so I'm lazy, so I'm just gonna copy and paste it. So now, anything that's in here, this is the about me stuff. And we'll just put that for now. We'll, we'll change this in just a second. So we've got our page. Anytime you create a new page in Django, it's always a three-step process. You need the HTML page that we just created, you need a URL, and you need a view. So let's create our view. Let's head over here to our views.py file and let's go define about. We want to pass in a request. And I'm just going to copy this whole thing here and bring it back. There we go. But instead of pointing this to home.html, we want to point it to about.html and we don't actually want to pass any product stuff in there. That's good. All right, so that's all we need there. Go ahead and save this. Now we need a URL. So I'm going to come back over here to our urls.py file, copy this guy. And let's call this about, and this is gonna to point to views.about, and let's name this about. All right, go ahead and save this. Now we've got this page, we've created it, we've got our URL, we've got our view, and we've got our HTML page. Now let's put a link to it in the nav bar. So let's head back over to our navbar.html. And also you can see that about page isn't showing up in Sublime Text. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I've had this open for like three weeks, so the memory is getting a little clunky. So I'll have to come up here and click uh, refresh folders and then boom, it pops right up. So it's there if you don't see it, you just might have to refresh. So 
All right, here's our nav bar. Let's come down here to the about section and here's this about link and let's add a Django URL tag. So that's just URL and then we want to point it to about and I put that in single quotation marks. So all right, that looks good there. So let's head back over to the website and hit reload. Now we can click on this about thing and boom, we have this about page. Now there's not much there. It looks horrible, but it says about me stuff. Here's our nav bar and our header stuff. And here's the footer stuff. All right, okay, that's what we expect. Now, if we click here, it doesn't go anywhere. If we click home, it doesn't go anywhere. So let's update that link real quick while we're at it. I'm just gonna copy this about link and go to the home section. And inside of this quotation mark and the href for home, let's just pass in home. And we could do the same thing up here for where it says code me e-commerce. Uh, let's see, right inside of there. Let's also change this to home. So let's go ahead and save this, head back over to the website, hit reload. Now when we click Codemy e-commerce, it goes to the home page. We can go back to the about page. We can click this home thing right here. We'll probably get rid of that, but for now it's fine. So, okay, let's now add this thing to the about section to make this page look a little nicer. So let's head back over to our code and let's go to the home.html. And at the top of this thing, we have this header section. We could just copy this whole thing, bring it over to the about page. And instead of it saying about me stuff, let's paste this in there. And then here, instead of it saying shop and style, let's saying, uh, let's have it say about us. And then down here, let's have it say, welcome to Codemy e-commerce, <laughs> whatever. All right. So if we save this, head back over here, it's going to look better, but it's still eh, looking a little wonky. Let's also put something underneath there as well. Let's start out by creating a div with a class equals container. And then we want to close that div. And this is just straight bootstrap to add a little container. We also want to create a div with a class equals row. And then inside of here, let's center this text. And then inside of here, let's give it another there div with a class equals, oh, I don't know, call dash eight. That'll give it eight column widths to make it sort of in the middle. So here, let's say stuff. And then we want to close our div, close our center tag and close our other div. And this will say stuff. That's not great. Let's just get some dummy text real quick. I'm going to go to Google and type in lorem ipsum. If you don't know, this is just gibberish you can sort of create. So let's create, I don't know, three paragraphs of gibberish. And you can see it just says lorem ipsum, delor, sit, amit. It's just you know, nonsense words. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and copy all this stuff, bring it back over here. And right inside of here, let's just paste it. Whoa, that's crazy. And I might want to give this a P with an align equals justify. So it's like uh, justified all up on one side, like newspaper copy, you know? And then inside of here, let's put a couple of line breaks. I don't know, just goofing around at this point. Some more there. And then at the end of this guy, let's close our P tag, maybe a couple more line breaks. All right, so now if we head back over here, get rid of this, hit reload. Okay, that's a little better. Maybe we want some space at the top of that. So we'll copy our BR tags there and put some more line breaks. All right, that looks a little better. And at least it's something there. Obviously you're gonna put whatever you want there about your company, whatever. But yeah, starting to come together. Now we can click up here and go back to the home page. We can click here, go to the about page. We can click on this one right here and go to this home page. All right, starting to come together. So just a quick recap, anytime we create a new web page from now on, you're always gonna have these two tags at the beginning. We wanna extend our base file. We wanna add the block content. And then at the end, we want to end our block. So anything in between that in block tag and this block content tag, think of that as the content for that page, right? Everything else is going to be the base.html file, which is just basically the, you know, the HTML tag, the head tag, the static tag, if we're, you know, loading in static stuff, uh, the CSS file, the nav bar, all that good stuff. And then also, uh, let's come down here, the footer stuff. And it's really nice because anytime we want to change this, so if we want to change this from your website 2023, 
We can change this now to Codemy 2023 or Codemy.com 2023. If we save this now, the nice thing about this is if we hit reload on our about page, it now says Codemy.com. On our home page, it now says Codemy.com. We might have 2,000 web pages on our website. If we want to make a change to the footer, we don't want to change 2,000 footers. We want to change one footer in our base.html file, and then that will reflect on all the pages of our website, which is exactly why we've broken this out into templates in a base.html file for this video. That's why we've done this, and hopefully that makes sense. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codeby.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 180,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codeby.com, and I'll see you in the next video.